Hi and welcome. In this tutorial, I'll explain the purpose and effect of setting protection parameters when securing a mobile app in the Trusted Software User Interface. In the four simple steps to protect a mobile app with Trusted Software video, you learned that Trusted Software can be used to protect mobile apps by applying code transformations and injecting runtime application security checks. Trusted Software is designed to be a zero-touch solution so it will apply protection based on your account's default application security configuration, unless you change the protection parameter settings. Let's look at how to change the protection parameter settings to customize the type and level of protection that is applied to your mobile app. After uploading the app file into Trusted Software and before clicking Protect, you can change the protection parameters to select different security features. In this tutorial, I'm using an iOS app, but it's important to note that these same features apply equally to Android apps. I've already uploaded the Hello XE Archive file. To set the protection parameters, click on the View Change Settings button. A new window opens with a variety of protection parameters. By default, all the features you've paid for are selected. You can unselect them if you choose. Behind the scenes, the transcoder is the engine that transforms the app, making it difficult for hackers to reverse engineer. Make sure that transcoding is selected if you want Dedo's machine learning software to automatically select which algorithms and data are protected. Something to keep in mind, software protection always comes at a cost in terms of program size and execution speed. You can tune the level of protection offered by the transcoder by selecting the security level that best fits your needs. There are five preset security levels ranging from light to extensive. The light security level will apply minimal software and data transformation, resulting in a small change in the size of the program. As the name suggests, the balanced security level offers a balance of software protection and program size. I will select Extensive. It uses the full suite of software protection capabilities, so maximum protection will be applied. This will increase the size of the application more than other levels. Note, protection parameters with a grayed out checkbox are not available on your account. To enable a new parameter to your account, contact your trusted software sales advisor. On my screen, you will notice that root jailbreak detection is enabled and by default is selected. Root jailbreak detection is an injectable. That means when you protect your application, a code segment that detects root or jailbreak on a device will automatically be injected into your source code. You don't have to update and integrate the latest SDK to detect new root and jailbreak hacks. Trusted Software automatically injects up-to-date detection technology when you protect your app. Other injectables include integrity verification, anti-debug, and anti-hook. All injectables require that you prepare your code in your app to provide an appropriate security response. You can find details about how to prepare your code for injectables in the Trusted Software User Guide. My code is ready to accept the code injection, so I will leave root jailbreak detection selected. With the protection parameters selected, click Save to continue. After setting the protection parameters, when you press the Protect button, Trusted Software will use Erdetto's machine learning technology to analyze your code and automatically apply protection in the most efficient way to provide the best possible security based on the level and protection parameters you selected. And once protected, you can download, test, sign, and submit your app to the Google Store or Apple App Store. For more information about protecting your mobile app with Trusted Software, see the Trusted Software User Guide under Documentation in the left side menu.